Hey guys, this is a real, real quick like update on the glitter napkin idea. Like I'm not even doing any editing on this or anything. I just wanted to kind of show you um, another way you could do this real quick. And the only reason this came about is because I am making um, 30 Christmas cards using that technique. And I live in Hawaii, and in Hawaii, we only have one craft store, which is Ben Franklin's, and there's a couple of other small ones, but the stamp and bond that I was telling you guys about that you use in this technique, I ran out before I was finished with my cards, and I went to Ben Franklin's, and they told me that they don't carry it anymore because they actually told me the last time they sold it was in 2014 and I was probably the one that bought it <laughs> so I had to come home and figure out what I could do and I got to thinking about it and I was like why am I making these this extra step of the stamp and bond when I feel like embossing powder clear embossing powder with glitter is the same thing I was like surely it would work so I want to show you what I did so these are the ones that that I'm doing here's um, this is a Christmas tree one this was a napkin and um, I just kind of cut it down because I'm gonna layer it onto a tall skinny card so here's a Christmas tree and then I a sleigh and I'm gonna layer it with some different panels as well and then I have Santa and this is another really neat idea I only put um, the Versa mark on the Christmas tree and the glitter so just the Christmas tree is the glitter technique but the whole piece is um, a napkin anyway so I I got all these done with the stamp and bond and um, dazzling diamonds and it was my snowman that I ran out so this one is done with the new idea and I like it better guys it doesn't distort like for instance on this Christmas tree yes you can still see the Christmas tree and it's really pretty let's see no I've got a few pieces of glitter on my hand but not much let's just see something so if I just rub my hand on it well not really no glitter really came off let's see about this one no and none came off there I have a little bit of powder right here but not not any glitter um, I must have accidentally oh yeah I missed that spot with my heat tool so, but up here, no glitter comes off. So I guess that's not really, but anyway, okay. <laughs> Sorry, let me get back to it. I do like this technique better. It's one step less, a lot less messy and even faster to do. So what I did is I came home and I took a thing of Stampendous clear embossing powder. And then I, cause I also ran out of Dazzling Diamonds. And then I had this tube of Stampendous Crystal Clear Ultra Fine Glitter. So it's like really, really fine glitter. And I mixed a whole tube of this. And then this was some that I had left over from another tube of the embossing powder. I wish you could see that, but the glitter doesn't show up. Yeah, it doesn't show up. But anyway, so that's what I mixed in here. I did a whole little thing of embossing powder. And I actually did two, I think. And then, yeah, I did two things of embossing powder in here. And then almost two tubes of glitter. And you could use any color you want. I just recommend clear for a technique like this. Because you don't want it to cover it up. And then... So the way that you do it then is when you have your, you know, you use your double-sided sticky sheets and you stick your, um, your napkin down. And when you got your napkin stuck, you use your Versamark, Versamark the whole thing. 
and then before you were doing the stamping bond heat setting it and then coming back and doing your glitter and then heat setting it well now all you have to do is do your versamark and then put on this mixture and heat set it and there you go you have a card and i like this technique a lot better less steps and i just thought i would share that with you guys if you give it a shot um i will if you look i have the other video from just uh, a couple of days ago that shows the entire process step by step there's one other thing I wanted to let you know. I did notice um, I had a couple of these as I was going through them. Like I said, I made 20 all together. Um, there was a few that when I started heat setting it, the napkin started peeling up and I couldn't figure out what it was. And there was actually another layer. So if your napkin starts coming up, it's because you missed one of the layers that you pulled off. So the best way for me to say it is when you think there's no more layers, there's at least one more. Anyway, I hope you guys give this a shot. And I think now it'll be a lot easier for you to try out this technique because pretty much all of us have some embossing powder and some glitter laying around in our craft rooms. So um, until tomorrow, actually, hugs and love from my craft room to yours.